Let's try something a little different today. What's going on everyone? Seth Miranda here, last ex-witness on all social, coming to you from my home today at my streaming setup. So it's a little bit tighter than the studio you normally see me at, but uh, that's because today I'm building myself a PC. Uh, this is my very first complete build. I've done things where I've taken parts out of computers, swapped things out, made them more optimal for streaming or different purposes, but I've never gone from complete zero to a complete build. Uh, so this should be pretty interesting. I got my Gamers Nexus shirt on today to hopefully channel their energy and get this done as legit as possible. But right now, basically what I'm gonna do is go to a top down, show you guys all the parts that I put together and why I chose them. And then we'll go right into the build and see how this all pans out. Uh, just so you know, this has been months of acquiring pieces and parts. I have pulled a ton of strings. I owe a bunch of favors out there. Uh, it is 2021 and this is kind of what PC building is right now after 2020 into the beginning of this year. Uh, we are looking at a silicon shortage. We're looking at scalpers, all sorts of problems getting components and I have to deal with it as well. So I'm really lucky to even have the parts I have and I'm super excited to do this. And you guys can actually join me on twitch.tv slash last X witness. If you want to check out how this thing performs after I get it built, I'll be going live with it. That'll be my daily driver machine. I'll hopefully be able to edit some video on it and stuff like that as well. Uh, but let's go right into the components and uh, let me know uh, down in the comments what you guys have been doing for PC builds and what parts you've been after and what your experience has been in this era of uh, having a hard time building a PC, unfortunately. Let's go take a look at some parts. All right, let's go over the heart of this machine. It's going to be the Ryzen 9 5900X. And uh, this was the easily the hardest thing for me to get for this build. I actually was able to get a 5800, but it wasn't the one I wanted. Uh, I really had my heart set on the 5900 and I held out and I actually was able to luck out and get my hands on one of these without having to pay scalper prices. I did not want to pay scalpers and I'm really against anybody that uh, wants to support them. They are part of the problem. If you take away them making money off of this, they won't surge and try to buy up the stocks so that we have to pay for it through them. Just keep that in mind. By the way, I'm in Brooklyn, so you're gonna hear the train coming by. Sorry about that. So yeah, 5900X, 12 core, 24 thread. I'm super psyched on this. You know, it's got a 3.7 gigahertz base clock and it's a 4.8 uh, max boost, but I'm probably not gonna overclock it too much. But just to have this, I'm super amped about it. Uh, it's supposed to be really great for uh, multiple cases, including content creation, video editing, and even gaming. So this is the heart of it. And then the other really hard thing to get was, oh, yep, I got myself a 3080 EVGA XC3. Uh, so this was actually one of the first pieces I was able to get on. I pulled a ton of strings. I owe a ton of favors. I have to make a bunch of videos for people, but I got myself one, which was funny because when I was originally building the PC, I was like, ah, I'm gonna build something for like a grand. And then when these were announced, I just got so psyched on it. I was like, you know what? Let me just get the, the graphics card. Then it kept on snowballing into, well, what else can I get? What else do I need? And, um, you know, so this and this together are this like unicorn package duo that are gonna fuel this whole machine. Now to put both of these into, I went a little hard with the motherboard. I went with the Oris X570 Master, and I went with this for a couple reasons. I, this is the one thing I felt like I really splurged on, to be honest with you, but because it was taking me months to get all the parts, it didn't feel like I was killing myself to afford to build this thing. So this came about because I wanted PCIe Gen 4 to take full advantage of the 3080 graphics card. I also wanted to have multiple M.2 slots because I'm gonna show you in a minute what I plan to put in this thing for storage. And I also just wanted to have the BIOS flash to make the uh, to make the build easier because I know that I'm gonna have to update the BIOS on this thing and I don't have another CPU to boot up and do a BIOS update without having that capability. So I got the, the uh, flash ability on this, the dual BIOS, you've got the PCI Gen 4, the multiple M.2 slots, and uh, yeah, it, Wi-Fi and everything else that I was hoping to get. Also, the other motherboards I was looking at while they were cheaper, it wasn't by a lot. So I just kind of went all in on this one. And the one thing that's kind of makes me uneasy about this one out of everything in the build is if it, it's not future proofed. So let's say the next processors come out, 
I know they're not gonna be AM4 chipsets. They're not gonna be the same socket. And that means that this board will have to get swapped out should I change my CPU in the future, which I hope this machine holds up and I get to do that one day. But for right now, this uh, 5900X should hold me for a few years, absolutely no problem. But this is probably the one thing that doesn't feel uh, like I thought ahead, I thought about for now. Let me go over what we're gonna stick in this thing for the storage. So I have one terabyte Fire CUDA 520s, a pair of them, but the big one is this WD Black SN850. Whoop, there we go. This is two terabytes, but 7,000 megabytes per second. That is gonna be blazing fast. And these were uh, kind of like the hookups I got. I, I made a few calls. WD Black has been a huge supporter. I've done a bunch of videos for them. And Seagate is a great company as well. But I got three of them and I said, you know what? If I just get a motherboard with a bunch of uh, M.2 slots, I can use all of them without having to use an adapter for a PCIe slot. Does that make sense? So I don't take up a PCIe slot using an M.2 drive. I can just go right into uh, installing these and have them all ready to go and keep all my PCIe slots. So that's gonna be my storage. We're looking at one, two, four terabytes of storage in solid state drives, M.2 NVMe. Super amped about that. This, this thing should be blazing fast. And to go along with the storage, I found some really great RAM at a great price. So these are Trident Z Neos. They're basically made for the uh, AMD chipset. They're kind of optimized for it. These are DDR4 3600, 16 gigabyte sticks. So I'll have four 16 gigabyte sticks in there. That means I will have 64 gigs of RAM. Uh, I got a good deal on these and I was wondering, man, why did I get such a good price? And then being the dummy I am, I ended up getting CL18s here, not CL16. So there's a little bit of latency on them, but I don't think I'm gonna really care about that. I'm not trying to be like an esports champion here. I just wanted some solid RAM. And by the way, this is probably the most RGB that's in this build. There is some in the motherboard, but I'm gonna go basically all blackout and run these in a subtle white. And I'm gonna have an all blackout build as much as I can with just white accents. So let me take you over to where I'm gonna add in some of those white accents aside from the lights. I got Asia Horse extension cables, a little black and white, uh, you know, mix going on there. So we can actually have a bit of like a all blackout, little Tim Burton-ish kinda, a little bit of stripiness, a little bit of uh, just hints of white in there. And I didn't wanna have all this unicorn vomit glow everywhere. I'm just, I get it. I didn't wanna pay for RGB. I just want a pure performance out of this build as much as I can and also make it look just like raw power. And that's kind of where I was going with the build. But this is like the most bling I probably put in this. After that, the cooler is evil, evil. So this is the Liquid Freezer 2 360. So this is a 360 AIO. Uh, it is all black, 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 black with more black. This thing is just eating up all the reviews out there. I mean, everything I'm reading, everybody's just super psyched on it. It has a VRM 40 millimeter fan, which can be sort of a gimmick, I guess, but uh, it does actually cool off the VRMs. The thing is, you really kind of don't need to cool off VRMs. So it does work, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, this thing looks evil. No spinning pinwheels of rainbow. It's just pure performance, but it is a thick, thick radiator. I mean, I hope I have enough space to top mount it. If not, I will put it on the side, obviously. I'm just really looking forward to this thing. Uh, it was actually, this was another piece that was actually kind of hard to get because once the reviews were out for it, it seemed like it was out of stock everywhere, but I kind of lucked out and I found one in retail price, not some scalp and not a gouge from a retailer. And I'm pretty amped about that. I do have another AIO as a backup, should this not fit. Uh, though I did test it, it does seem like even though this has a pretty big pump on it because of the VRM fan over here, it does clear the uh, M.2 slot that I thought it was gonna hit. So that should be okay. Uh, I'm just more worried about the thickness of the radiator, but this thing, I'm super psyched on it. And uh, I've just been watching endless videos of people raving about it. So hopefully it lives up to all of that. Uh, if not, you know, you swap it out. What am I gonna do, right? I did get some uh, fan cable extensions for the AIO because I saw the cables on there were pretty short and dinky. So I was like, eh, I don't know. So I got those just in case for the actual power. Oh, 
I went with the Seasonic Focus GX850. So 850 watt, 80 plus gold. Um, and I know a bunch of you are gonna be like, oh my God, that's overkill. Uh, I, I don't think it is. I would rather have more power than not. We don't know uh, what's gonna happen in the future. These are rated for 10 years. So should I upgrade anything within a decade, you kind of want to have yourself covered here. The 850 watts, while that's plenty for my system, you have to remember that this isn't just pumping out power into the system. The system will draw power and the power is just sitting there waiting for it. So I'm kind of covered on that. The future proofing I'm doing with this is because we didn't even see the size of these crazy GPUs that we're getting now coming. We didn't see the size of a 3090 coming, how crazy those are getting. Who knows what's going to happen in the future? And again, this was another piece that I think I, I, I splurged an extra 60 bucks for it as opposed to what I was gonna get instead of this one at a lower wattage. So 850 watts, I'm good to go. Plus it's kind of a good homage cause you know, I do love my Nikon D850 and it just felt right. It just felt right. Mwah. So I'm pretty amped on that. Nice and sleek, no crazy frills on it. And as a little bonus, I am gonna throw in, obviously I stream a lot, bing the 4K60 Pro, the uh, video capture card from Elgato, HDMI in, HDMI out, so I can plug in like my PS5 into this and uh, stream from it, or even just use it as a quick video capture device for my talking head cam. I was actually gonna go bananas and put two of these in there, but even with uh, all the, you know, sales and stuff going on, it still would have been like a $500 add-on to have two of these in as opposed to just one. And the reason I wanted to do two was so I could have my consoles plugged in and also have an onboard video capture device for a camera so that I always have like a confidence monitor or uh, I don't have to worry about dongles like the cam links or whatever, like it's in, it's in my computer. Uh, maybe later on, if I ever find like a used one or there's some crazy sale, or maybe if they upgrade these to some other uh, frame rate or resolution and these become cheaper, maybe I'll get a second one for that purpose. But for right now, I'm pretty psyched to just have this on board and not to worry about it. something hanging off like a dongle, which I've been doing like crazy with uh, all the laptop streaming I've been doing. And to cap it all off, I am gonna do, boom, a bunch of Noctua Chromax fans. Uh, Noctua legendary with all their stuff. Uh, as far as fans go, they got their science down. These are no RGB. You get some color for the corners and I'm gonna be putting the white corners on so it matches the cables. You know, the cables will go really nicely with the corners of the fan. And I'll also have that white glow from the RAM. Uh, so it'll, it'll all kind of go together. It won't be like all black, black, but it'll have some life to it a little bit. So that's pretty much what I'm gonna be putting into this thing. And it is all gonna get crammed into a Lee and Lee Dynamic 011 Black. It's one of the best cases I've seen out there. Everyone's raving about it. I see endless builds happening from it. And Adorama had it. So I just saw it, grabbed it, and I just went for it. Uh, you know, nothing crazy aside from it just being well-designed, sleek looking. And there is a white edition, which I kind of was like, oh, I should've got white because it's not all white. There's some black to it. I think going all black out and then having all this extra little spits and spats of white will be pretty baller. All right, let's go to the time lapse and get this thing built. Future Seth, go right to it. Wish me luck. Okay, sorry guys, I'm gonna film this with my phone. Got it all built. I'm gonna make this all white, gonna make this white if I can, gonna make all this white glow, but you get it. The white accents everywhere, it's all lit up, and she's sending a signal, guys, look at that. But I gotta update the bio, so I'm gonna do the Q flash with a flash drive right there, and then we're gonna get on to the next part. So uh, I'm super psyched right now, this is crazy. <laughs> 